Hi, welcome back to Mama Sanity. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. We are coming to you from Houston, Texas. It is toward the end of the week and we're sad that um, the week is over with my mom, but we're super excited that next week and we get to see her again at Schlitter Bahn. So we're always thankful for that. Um, time does fly when you're having fun. So today I'm going to read you a story um, and then I'm going to explain after the story why I'm reading it and then my beautiful daughter Hayley is going to tell you about this really hilarious toy that we got for her on her special day and what she created. So let's get started. When I was 12, I babysat for this girl for a few years. She would come to me and show me her art, drag me by the wrist, and point at the pieces she made during the week. She would ask me to do the voice. So I would put on the Sports Olympic announcer style voice and say, such form this level of coloring why i haven't seen this perfection in crown in a long time and what's this jeff now it's a true risk it seems she made a mono pink chrome canvas i haven't seen this attempt since the winter of 1932 and i have to say jeff it's absolutely splendid and she would fall back giggling at the end of every night she would check with me and say did you really like it? I would say yes and talk about something that I noticed and tucked her in. She was just accepted into three major art schools. She wrote me a letter and inside was a picture from when she was younger. Monochrome pink. Thank you, she said, to somebody who saw the best in me. You never know what encouragement you can be. I wanted to share this with y'all today for two reasons. One, I feel it's extremely, extremely important to encourage people. If you see um, a natural talent or something in somebody, I really feel that it you need to encourage them. You could have been that one person that kind of pushed them toward their natural abilities and help them be successful. Also, I wanted to share it with you because my daughter Haley, she loves, loves art. She's super creative. She loves painting and drawing and coloring and she's constantly, she created an arcade upstairs in our playroom with boxes and it, and tokens and if I just you know one day I'll have to film it it's awesome so she's super creative and I wanted to share with you today on her special day we got her a toy that she picked out and I'm going to hand it over to her to explain to you what she did okay so this is my pet bunny I named it Bella um, and it really eats hang on um, but while it eats, it poops out. Um, sorry, I don't have any food to show you. Um, and instead of having to put your hand over there or a napkin um, for the big mess or having to clean it up, I made this little toilet slash seat. And how I made it is all I did was fold a napkin. I colored a little black hole and then I cut it out except part here so it stayed on instead of having tape or glue or something. Um, and then since I can't find any tape or I couldn't find, well yeah I just couldn't find tape. <laughs> Um, I just use tacks to hold it and support it, to hold this, um, and, and that's all. And I added some design, like that's how you flush it, kinda. I made a little thing that doesn't really flush. And then it says, on here it says, toilet for Bella slash my pet bunny only. And there's an air pointing down to here. And then, so I can just put the, the, the tail um, underneath it, and then I'll feed it, and then it doesn't make a mess. And whenever, and also, whenever it fills up all the way to the top of the cup, I can just empty it out in the trash. And that's how you make this. 
Okay, so, and I just want to add, okay, so when we're eating dinner, she has, it is so hilarious, she has the bunny, she takes it everywhere now, but she has the bunny on the toilet, on the table, while we're eating, and, and she's feeding the bunny. How much did you feed the bunny in the first day? Um, I can't remember, but I remember yesterday morning, I fed it like 23 carrots. 23 carrots. Oh my and gosh. it was still hungry. And it was still hungry. It was still begging for food. How does it tell you that it wants more food? Um, like, sometimes it's rubbed its tummy like this. And while it does that, it does noises like... Like growling? Like they're hungry? Yes. Okay, so it's it's hilarious. I was like, this animal actually poops. And what's so funny why she made the trash can is because you feed it and it's like whole. And then it, I guess it has like a shredder down at the bottom and it shreds it and poops it out. So hilarious. So. And this is my other daughter, Hannah. And we, um, when me and Haley were out, she, um, sweet sister, she picked out a little toy for, for Hannah. And she wants to show you her toy. So here we go. So, um, this is like an angel, and I just like fake let her to eat food, but I'm faking letting her to eat food, but she, but she doesn't poop it out because she, this is just a tag, it's not a tail. And it can play like this. And it has these little wings and it's crown. These little wings show that it can fly and it can visit Jesus. Okay, so she wanted to share you um, with you that little special toy. So I hope y'all have a good week, and until next time, I hope y'all stay safe. Bye.